And then I had this huge chip on my shoulder about it. Like being in this barrio, like it's not to prove anything to you or the world. It's not that. It's like <laughs> going on guys today is Saturday August 10th 2024 and we have 83 days before we launch the all dreams platform um, if this is your first time here my name is Hassan El Sadiq I'm an entrepreneur I am currently at my office in Cartagena Colombia I am building a startup company called all dreams where we support amateur athletes. So our mission is to support 1 million amateur athletes, okay? With our platform. Um, if you like watching the journey of an underdog that is being transparent, honest, giving value, you're in the right place. Right now it is 10.15 a.m. Normally I'm in the office early. And actually I have been in the office early. I'm not, it's not like I'm late, but I was working on the episode that people are going to watch today that goes live at 12 noon, okay? Um, and I think it's a powerful, I think it's a powerful episode before I started to cut the episode, I was like, man, I didn't tape enough because I always go on this walk and I just brain dump everything that's in my head at the time and I talk about it. Well, I didn't do that yesterday, right? I spent most of my time in the office and then I left early, okay? And um, as I'm watching the, the, the footage, I see it was, a, it was a lot of value in that episode because I told a couple stories. And then the power of documentation came into play, right? Where I had something that I talked about that was in June that I was able to put into the episode, but it was very, very powerful to intertwine with that story, right? And that's the power of documentation. That's why I believe everyone should be documenting their journey at, you know, to some effect, right? Maybe you're not documenting every single day, but you should be documenting your journey so you can submit your own history because nobody's gonna do that for you. We're at a point in this life with this phone that we can almost virtually almost kind of live forever by documenting our process and our journey and our experiences and the things that we are doing in our life. It's so powerful. Um, start to do it now. If you, you know, like seriously, start to do it now. Um, so yesterday, this is the, you know, this is the underdog story I'll tell you, like, like it's serious. Uh, nobody supports what I'm doing, right? And I'll just give an example. Yesterday, if you'll watch yesterday's video, you'll see that I made this promo video to help this young lady that plays basketball here in Colombia. And our platform is about athletes being able to capture their sports journey, um, build a community and earn money from that community for their sports journey so they can pay for their training, travel, uh, equipment, just the th organizational fees, the things that they need so they can get closer to their goals and their dreams as an athlete to possibly reach their full potential as an athlete, right? And that's what our platform is about, okay? So yesterday I, I did a promo video for this young lady. Her mother reached out to me. She said, look, the team needs some money and um, could you basically help us out? So I said, yeah, I'll, I'll make a post and I'll send it out. 
So I made this post and I made this video. And I think it was a really, really, I think it was a good video, you know? And I sent it out to a couple people. So I played basketball with these guys on, you know, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Sundays or whatever. And there's one guy that I, I met on Tuesday or something like that. And I say, you know, he comes on the court and he thinks he's gonna be, he thinks he's gonna win. Of course, that's not gonna happen. Um, but we go to the sideline and we talk and he's decent guy, cool guy, black guy from the United States or whatever. And he starts talking about the things that he does. Hey man, I'm going to the DR and I'm in his fraternity. And uh, yeah, this is the things that we did for the kids in the DR. Now, mind you, all dreams we've been doing is for over, it hasn't been all dreams, but you know, virtually I've been helping the kids for 14 years, right? Telling stories and uh, fulfilling dreams for 14 years. So I'm like, oh man, that's cool. So when I make the video yesterday, I say, hey, he has his big fraternity. How about I reach out to him and send him the video and see if he'll share it, see if they can, you know, help out. So I send it, nothing, crickets. I post it on my Instagram, nobody donates. <laughs> like, you know, like, it's crazy, like, because like, you, you, like the shit I'm doing is good in the world. I promise you, like nobody will support this shit. The only person that really supported it was uh, Andre from Andre and Andre and Love Crossing, Love Crossing Borders. Like he raised money for, for All Dreams just because he wanted to raise money from All Dreams. And um, I thank him for that. But the point is, this is, this is the, the underdog fucking story. Nobody fucking supports me. You know, like it's, it's just, you know, like it's just what it is. I've embraced it. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to keep going and I'm going to make this shit. I'm going to will this shit to, to happen. Okay? Because I know that this shit is needed in the world. So the will to do it, that's why it's going to happen. Right? And then when it's a platform, it's not my face that's asking for money, right? It's athletes. They'll be able to go out and show what they're doing and get support. Because I promise you, if it's me, nobody's gonna support it, right? And man, I had this huge chip on my shoulder about it. Like being in this barrio, like it's not to prove anything to you or the world, it's not that. It's like I see other people get support and nobody supports this and it's so good, right? It doesn't matter. When we grow, and this is what's going to happen. I'll say this right now. This is what's going to happen. If we can add this much value to a million athletes, 100,000 athletes, 200,000 athletes, 300,000 athletes, and we can add value to them, in a few years, I'll be in this barrio pulled up. We'll have Rolls Royces in this barrio. Uris is in the barrio. Maybe just for a photo shoot. <laughs> Maybe just for a photo shoot. But to show the essence of where this came from without the support. Because watch what happens. It'll come a time when all these people, they'll be, they'll, they'll trickle in. They'll trickle in. And people like us, we always remember. So I'm gonna go to the store to go grab my juice and my patelito de pollo, okay? And then I'm going to get to work. You guys have a good day. This is up your mind too, like, like if you don't have any hope, like you're not going to perform to your highest level, you know, to the yeah. highest level that you can perform, yeah, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, you just gonna be like, damn, like you, you, you perform a little bit, but if you ain't have like, man, I don't think my situation is ever going to get better. You understand what I'm saying? Because like, you don't know anything about, about around this thing. You know, right. you don't know anything more like this. Right. right. You don't know anything about. I see the I, I see the your country. I, I have the opportunity to to go over there, right. and my mind go go blow in that in that thing. Right. But as certain people who who doesn't get in an airplane, there's a I know people who doesn't go to the. That girl from that girl from Survivor's never been in the fucking airplane. Didn't go to the airplane, and just the moment when the airplane start to roll, right. and when they start to 
to up the net and also the airplane and you stay in the flight, that's a no, that's, that's the first time of flight, I was eight, the, when the first time of flight, I have a, a, a laughing attack. In Cartagena, uh, probably could be the 25% or 20% or 20%. The people are poor, but extremely, extremely poor. 20% of the people. Extremely poor. You see your 20% of the people is very, yes. Yeah, it's very poor. You see their houses. Their houses is, yeah, it's weak. It's only it's, it's only we. I I think that the this chair is a, is this could be her door. Right. This could be their door. Right. And when the rain is coming, those those, those houses go 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 to the deep. They have to they have to to make another house after the after the raining because the situation over there is is pretty pretty bad. I, I think like all I see is people that have small kids here. You don't see that in the states anymore. Like you don't see people people don't really be having having kids. Like like I think that's gonna mess up the population in the long run. Like like people not having children. Like like bro, you into the interest of is getting money, getting money, getting a, a real cool life and see the world. Huh? I think that, that gonna, that's going to be your, yeah, your goal. The Who's other goal? people, the, the oh, other the people. people. Yeah, but, yeah, but. Get shit, money. But, yeah, but what's, okay, but, okay. Buy a house and, and travel. Yeah, no, I, I don't even think they buy a house. They, like, people can't afford houses in the States anymore. Like, All right, but, get, get money okay, and, but, and, go but, out, and go out for your Yeah, but, okay, so, but, but what happens, I think, I think it's fool's goal. Like I, I think I think that life is fool's goal where people is like saying, Hey, I wanna travel. Mm -hmm. I think it's fool's goal. I, I'm I'm starting to see so many videos on the internet of black women mm -hmm. in Thailand living. Like what? Like like I'm talking about like not just single black women, I'm talking about black women with kids in Thailand. Like it's still. We have to go to that I, I think it's. I think it's all. I think it's all fools go, bro. I think it's a fad. I don't think it's sustainable. You don't see people build like like. If I'm not here building all dreams, if I'm not building all dreams, I ain't. I'm not here. Mm -hmm. Fuck like, no way in the world I have the delusion that I'm gonna be in fucking Cartagena, because I think it's better than the United States, okay. and because I can you know possibly. Uh, Deal with some be beautiful women, maybe possibly if I pay them, right? right? If I'm like, if I'm not building all dreams, I'm not here. Point blank, period. So I think it's like I think it's so delusional for people to be like, "Hey, I'm gonna move to another place for because it's cheaper, and I'm not gonna build anything." That shit is, you know, I, I think I think people are gonna like. All of run. this shit is going to hit the fans so hard. I promise you, they're gonna run. Like away. all of this shit is going to hit the fan. Like it's like people is going to hit the fans so hard. Women not being in relationships, not not choosing men, they want to be single and this this and that. It's going to hit them so hard. Men only chasing women. It's going to hit them so hard. Like for real. It's, like it's going. Like men that don't build shit, they want to go chase women. They don't build shit. Guess what? They're gonna be thirty. They're gonna be forty. They ain't built shit. They, it's gonna hit them so hard. Like it's going. Like I'm telling you, the wall is going to hit both, both, both type of people. You understand what I'm saying? Like, and then the people that say, "Hey, I want to be a digital nomad. I want to travel." The only reason people was able to do that is because of COVID, and then the jobs went online, right? Mm -hmm. Instead of people being in the have having to be in the office. Now, if you work for a company, bring your ass back to come into the office. Right? And it's not people are not good enough to be online marketers, you know what uh -huh. I'm saying? Like in and I'm talking about in abundance. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have your outliers that are good at doing YouTube, that you know that's good at doing online marketing, that can make an online business. Those are outliers. But the majority want that same life and I don't think they're gonna be able to do it. And they're gonna hit the wall so hard. I promise you. That's this is what this is what I foresee. 
because I don't see people actually building something. Yeah. You have to be building something in order to get that freedom that you absolutely want. And you probably have to be building that for a certain amount of time before it even gives you, before you even get received from it. Mm. You, you know, you actually have to give to it so much, so much, so much before that thing gives back to you. And nobody's willing to be like, yo, listen, I got 10 years to do this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, like, look, when I say all dreams, bro, I promise, I say, yo, hey, what fuck you? it. No, I say, I say, I say, fuck it. Yo, I got at least five to 10 years to put into this shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like five to 10 years where I say, yo, you know what? I'm not gonna be able to have Rolls Royces and shit outside, uh, outside of the barrio, or the fucking Lamborghini Euros outside in the barrio, because that's how we leave out. Like, you know, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, you know, the ultimate goal is to bring Rolls Royces out in the yeah. barrio. Like, you know what? We'll, <laughs> <laughs> we'll have Rolls Royces and Lamborghinis outside this place in the barrio, but I'm not looking for that to reap for years. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I got you, I got you. But people want this shit so fast, bro, because. The, the, the world saying fastest is better. That's we what that's we, what that's what that's what that's what's saying online. Fastest is better. Business is nothing except solving a problem and having people pay yeah. for you solving that problem. And if you're like if you're not, the reason why Amazon is so good, because Amazon is customer, they're just infatuated with customers. And if you're not in fact you're a customer, and like I've done this before, I didn't give a fuck about customers. I just gave a fuck about money. You understand what I'm saying? Like it's all like you know, like a lot of times, like in a lot of the businesses that I did, I didn't really care about the customer. I only cared about making the money. I only cared about my art. You know what I'm saying? Like oh, yo, I made this art. You should buy this or whatever. Mm -hmm. Instead of caring about the problem that I'm solving, is that problem a large enough pain point for for somebody to pay for it, right? You understand? So this kid has the 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 to be blessed to travel around the world, yeah. but just doesn't enjoy traveling around the world. It's always something. He's like, y'all want to make you know? He wants to make do coaching and this is like, bro, That's it's just not a fucking good. It's just not a good idea. Just live in the moment. You know, and, and if you're getting YouTube money, you're getting people to pay for certain things, just live, you know, live below your means and just enjoy it because, yo, like, I think one thing that these younger guys, like, even like, like, like me, yeah. Yeah, like you, I just think you guys don't get that when it's over, it's over. You know, and I never thought that. I never thought basketball would end. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, but you're when, saying, I'm gonna ride these freak. Deep, deep. Forever, forever. Yeah, forever, forever. Because you can't like when you're your age. How you, you can't think 10, 10 years down the line, bro? Can you think you twenty three? Can you think like damn? I'll be thirty three, but by me, I can look and say, I'm gonna say sixty five. I can you know, I say yo. I can say yo. Okay, fifty five. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Okay, yo. I'm sorry. I'm forty five. 55, I can look that far and say, this is what I want it to look like. But when I was 23, there's no way that I can look these way. I can look and say 33. Couldn't look that far at all. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is not, it's not, like, you don't, you don't, you know, as a young person, you don't. The real thing is, we don't say, we, we don't have the, the ability to see for tomorrow. That's the thing. Yeah, and we with, and with this day. thing right here, it's even worse. We live day by day. It's you know, it's even worse, man. We don't go and see the and see the future and, and we don't project our our life in, in a certain amount of time. We just say, all right, tomorrow is gonna be better. But Yo, tomorrow is gonna be the same. And so it's a big mistake. It's such a big mistake. What would happen? Give me. I'm gonna give you a scenario. I'll give you a scenario. Okay. Okay, I know I'm going to like like with this this hip hop shit. Okay, <laughs> the hip hop that goes over and over. Okay, so All right. what would happen? What would happen in, uh -huh. the, in the barrio? 
if I if I did if I did this. <laughs> If I if I if I did this, all right. Let me see. Right in front of here. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh, over here. Uh -huh. Would I have what? what over I, here, we don't we don't have that read. Don't don't have that ears. Uh, hold on, hold on. We don't have the, that. The, the question is the question is will I have to leave for good if I do this? <laughs> <laughs> Point blank, you did, bro. You brought that steel over here, and you and you go all this amazing, all this amazing people came down over here. I have to go with others with you. No, yeah, I'm you not, can't, no, you can't I'm, go. I'm you can't you, go back. I'm you asking you to. No, no, I'm asking you to be honest because that's that's how I want to go. Like how I depict, I, I depict going out in the bank. Like okay, like I depict this always being here. Okay. Whether we're here or not, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, this is where it started from. Uh -huh. This is always here. Like, right. yo, no one, who did something like that? Yo, Nothing. these, yo, no yo, yo, the, these niggas, these niggas had Rolls Royces and Lamborghinis in a fucking barrio. Because they built a company not to, sh not to show off. It wasn't to show off. The reason why we was able to do that is because we helped so many people and we gave so many athletes value mm -hmm. and our product was a was a hit around the world that's why we were able to do that and we and we wanted to sell we want to celebrate that we're helping athletes around the world like that's the celebration it's not look at me it's right. like it's like yo look at where we started you know you I sit there had a conversation with fuck with uh my friend Javier, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, so you know, like, this shit ain't easy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, and when we get to that point, mm -hmm. who's bringing, who else is bringing Rolls Royces to the barrio? Oh, right. Exactly. And we go and we do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, all right. And you can, and after, the, and after that, you can't come back over here. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I was Yes, sir. 